Kirindam, this is Manitya Advaitananda. Here, Swamiji speaks about the choicelessness for kids. When we tell the kids about choicelessness, it's not very clear, right? What is choicelessness? Why it takes them to the suffering? When they go for uh, buying some dress or from food, they know they're going to get something from there. When you ask them, what do you want? If they tell you, anything you choose is perfectly fine, they're going to enjoy that. If they're saying, no, I want the pink dress, I want the blue dress, if it is not pink or not blue that they want, they're going to feel upset. Keeping them upgraded with the knowledge that choicelessness, if you ask for a vanilla or a chocolate ice cream, suppose you have two choices. So you ask for vanilla or you ask for cho chocolate or you ask vanilla and chocolate. But there is one more choice which is not available. So when we teach that choicelessness is all the choice, when you choose choicelessness, you have four choices, vanilla, chocolate, both vanilla and chocolate and choice. There is nothing. So a choiceless person has four choices to choose while a cho choosing person has only one to choose. So which is better? I trade this concept into the children so that they don't suffer. If somebody takes it, they are okay. Okay, that is one of the choice. I don't have anything today to eat. I, I have given this to somebody. It is perfectly okay to share. It's perfectly to give somebody. It's perfectly to give somebody and not have anything. It is also part of the choice. So you don't have to suffer for that. Choicelessness can be the most beautiful concept because everything a child keeps choosing and fighting over their siblings, their friends, families. So teach them this choicelessness way of life. Thank you. Nikyananda.